Hey guys, still here and welcome back to Transport Fever 2, where today I have a test. Can I make money using planes only? I mean, I know you can make money with planes, but usually they require additional infrastructure. They might require a train to supply the airport, they might require a bus stop to bring passengers from the plane to the town. Could I do it without all that fluff? Let's test. What I have over here is a large 2x1 map, so it is larger than it is wide, or vice versa, I want to see that. I have zero mods installed, so it is absolutely vanilla, and I have upped my loan to 50 million. That should be enough to get me going. Now, when you're using airplanes, or, well, any kind of transport, really, you want to make sure that the airplanes are empty for the least amount of time. So, any time you want to be carrying something. And that means that, for at least the early lines, that disqualifies a whole bunch of products. Because if you take crude, and you want to refine that, then you're going to have to take two crude to one oil. So that means that the airplane, in this case, would only be taking off with one oil. And I don't want that. I want it to be running full. The same goes for food. Two grain, one food. Uh, that's not a great deal. Because I'm running 50% all the time. Or, well, half of the time. You also got the more advanced stuff. Uh, let's say the goods over here. Those are somewhere in the far, well, let's say higher tech regions. Um, they are also a lot more complex to build, and they do require, once again, two iron ore and two coal in order to make just one steel. So that's going to require a whole lot of flights, which are going to be either empty or half empty for a good deal of the time. But there are some products which don't suffer from this penalty. Construction materials. You get one stone, you turn it into one construction material, and you fly it out to a town. Because, keep in mind, I cannot use vehicles other than planes. So what I'm going to do is supply Deventer, sorry, Enschede over here with my new construction materials. I'm going to do that with a small cargo airport, because in 1950 you do not yet have access, that is, unless you're using mods, to anything that looks like a big plane. I might need to upgrade this at some point, but for the moment this should be fine. Now the trick is going to be to get this airport close enough, and um, I might have to do some bulldozing for that. The thing is also, I am not going to allow myself to build any ships, trains, buses, but I will allow myself to build roads in order to make it easier to get the airport in the right position. Now for this, I'm supplying stone, so or, well, construction materials, so I need to just supply that somewhere over here. And that means that, ideally, I would squeeze that airport right in here. Unfortunately, that will also mean bulldozing a fair amount of my target market which I'm sure they're not too happy with. Nevertheless, I like this spot, <laughs> and I want to go there. Um, so, there you go. Enschede, here is your new airport. So that's one. Now, I need to pick up stone somewhere, and I need to find a position where I can get that stone turned into construction materials. Now, the way the transport fever works, the farther away something is, the more you get paid. So I'm going to fly this all the way over to the other side of the map, where I have found the Kampen Construction Materials Plant. Again, a small airport should do the trick here. Connected. And I need to get stone from somewhere. Now let's see where the map is offering stone. Because there must be some locations which are really far out of the way. Uh, you got uh, the build over here, far right. You have uh, Groningen, which is... Uh, oh, sorry, that's... Oh, I'm looking at the wrong filter. Uh, oh, there's only one? There's only one. Okay, on this map, we only have the uh, Hoofddorp Quarry. Yes, those are Dutch names, in case you're wondering. So, no comments saying, ah, you're not pronouncing that correctly this time around. Oh, my life is going to be so much more peaceful. Anyway, uh, we're starting here. Picking up stuff there. Bringing it all the way to the other side of the map. And back again. <laughs> Just over there. Enschede Annex. Enschede Airport, basically. Alright, time to buy some airplanes. I don't have a lot of options at this time. Um, you got the Junkers J 52 which can carry tw uh, just 10. Speed 200. But speed is also quite an important factor for money. And this one is the fastest and also has the most capacity. Now, what I need to be transporting to Enschede over here is a maximum of 74. So, let's say that four aircraft, uh, that would put me at 64. 
that should for the time being be enough. So let's buy four aircraft and send those out on the line. Um, I hope that this line is going to wake up quickly so that I immediately get stuff loaded onto the aircraft. Yep, it is trying to feel as much as possible, guys. I need you to come around. No, not there, not there, not there. This is uh, Hofdorp East. So, currently I need some of these aircraft to just turn around and immediately land again. Because otherwise they're going to be flying empty for the first flight, and I don't want that. Hofdorp East. <laughs> Which is a really weird term. Uh, Hofdorp itself in the Netherlands does not have an airport. Uh, nor does Enschede, as far as I'm concerned. Maybe something for the ultralights, the gliders. Maybe they have something like that there, because they do have a university. And those things, for some reason, usually tend to stick together. Um, but the same can be said for the other airport that I have all the way on the other side of the map. Uh, here, Kampen. Uh, Kampen is definitely not a place with an airport. But then again, many of these town names are not exactly things that you would normally have either an airport or a train line at. Whether it's the Dutch names or anything else. Now, let's see, where are my aircraft? This one's coming in, this one's loading up, this one's loading up, and this one's also loading up. Okay, so aircraft one, on approach. Let's see how much I can get for 14 stone if I fly it almost the entire length across the map. 14 stone, that's all I'm transporting. This aircraft might not yet be able to uh, reap the fruits of its labor, because it's going to take the construction materials plant a little bit of time to turn that stone around into construction materials. But if that means that the second flight is going to be capable of transporting construction materials, then that's fine for me. And I'll just send this guy back to uh, Hofdorp East. Alright, our uh, aircraft is almost at the cargo position. Let's offload. And 1.8 million for 14 stone. Yeah, I can get behind that. I can get behind that. And it, there is four stone, uh, sorry, four constru construction materials over there. Yeah, it's going to take probably quite a few aircraft because, sure enough, if all aircraft land at the exact same time over in Enschede, they might actually be able to f uh, fulfill all the demand. At this time, not really. Not really, because they don't all land at the same time. It's going to be a sort of constant influx of about 14 construction materials, give or take. So I'm going to build another two aircraft uh, one by one, making sure that they uh, all have enough. Oh, there is m more than enough here to transport. There you go. All right, I'm going to pause the game for a bit, or at least pause the recording for a bit, and I'll be back with you uh, in time when I have more airlines set up or when the year has advanced and see if I'm still... Uh, financially afloat. Alright, fast forward a couple of years. I have now set up a few more lines, including passenger lines, and, well, to my great surprise, even the passenger lines are profitable, even with towns as small as these. So, what I have over here is the town of De Bilt, uh, normally close to uh, a town called Utrecht, right in the middle of the country. It has an airport <laughs> smack dab in the middle of an industrial area slash residential area. It's connected to a couple of different towns. Uh, we got over on the right, Heerenveen, over on the left, Enschede, and over on the southeast, Haarlem. And, um, <laughs> well, believe it or not, but all of these lines are actually profitable. What is a very marked difference is that the two lines, which are actually constru or which are transporting goods, or, well, cargo in general, not passengers, they are far more profitable. Look at that, 14.3 million. That's the construction line that I set up initially. And then we have the uh, Groningen machines. Transports logs to be made into planks, to be made into machines, and then to be transported to the lovely town of uh, Groningen right here in the middle of the map. This one is actually running profitable, but not nearly as good as the other lines currently are. So, for now, 1957, a couple of years in, the answer is actually yes. So far, you can still make money using only planes. Let's fast forward a couple more years and see how the situation has developed then. Okay, welcome back to a couple of years ahead. It is now 1960, so just a few years ahead. 
And I have actually made so much money in the past couple of years that I was able to completely pay off my loan. Now compare that to 1950, in which case I had a loan of 50 million. This is how much these aircraft are making per year. Now one thing that you really need to keep in mind when you're using airports is the airport maintenance. And maintenance for the infrastructure is something that can be rather expensive. It can really be a big drain, especially the large airports. Those are even worse. So I'm paying 4 million a year, but I'm earning 35 million. And then I have a small detractor in the form of maintenance for vehicles. But aside from that, <laughs> the money is flowing in hand over hand. All right. Once again, let's pause it, or at least pause the recording and jump a few years ahead and see where I am at then. Fast forward a few more years. I have upgraded the Hofdorp Quarry Airport to include a large airport so that I can use the larger cargo planes. And I'm currently flying with a couple of L100s. Uh, these are capable of transporting a lot more at 24 and they're also a lot faster at 540. So there are currently two aircraft operating the line, the 14 ones uh, at a speed of 350 and the ones doing 24 at a speed that is far, far greater. Now, this also means that I had to upgrade Enschede. Uh, the airport is now, well, <laughs> still almost as big as the town. Uh, it has a cargo terminal over here and a passenger terminal over there. And between these and the cargo planes, I am still making decent money. I have had it happen, unfortunately, that the airport over here got so clogged with aircraft that it was just no longer possible to actually get the aircraft to start and uh, take off. There was just a queue of about eight aircraft on here and you can find a screenshot on my community page. Uh, I thought it was very funny to watch. Now, unfortunately, all airports in towns are generally not great news for the residents in this town. As you can see, noise emissions are currently so poor that the town has a debuff of 80%. The expected target population is now 181 as opposed to the 360 that it is now. So while I am making money with these planes, well, not currently because I invested a hell of a lot in getting new aircraft, um, the demand is gonna go down. The planes themselves are gonna be costing me uh, more and more as they get older. And overall, while the strategy, I would say it does work. I mean, sure enough, you're earning money uh, some of these lines are earning excellent money for an airline in 1966. The, it begs the question, is this really what you want? Is this really what you want? Is this really how you want to play the game? Um, for me, the test, I would say, is successful. I know that it works. I know that I can use planes and still make money. The thing is, I don't really like this style of play. For the simple reason that I enjoy having a cargo hub. I enjoy having an airport with a train station and potentially a truck stop or a passenger hub nearby and making sure that that way I can get my passengers and my cargo delivered to the town nearby. What I'm currently doing with the airports, <laughs> sure enough it works, but I am bleeding residents all over the place. If you see a town that goes down from 360, look at that, this, it's not even a slow drop, it's an extremely sharp drop from 381 all the way to 303 now. And it's projected to go back to 181. Um, this is not going to improve a whole lot. The aircraft, depending on what area you're flying in, of course, will vary from being extremely noisy to only being fairly noisy, <laughs> if you want to be kind. Um, the strategy works, yes. Would I recommend it? No. It is fun to see this many aircraft around and to be working with big airports and seeing how much you can squeeze out of them. And it is making money, but overall, mm, nah, I wouldn't really recommend it. Anyway, it was a fun test. I wanted to run it. I wanted to see how far I could push this. And of course, you can take this uh, game and still progress it very, very much farther and probably still be raking in hundreds of millions a year, depending on how much you connected. And the ones that I've selected, this is just six lines. That's all that I'm running. So you can push this very, very much farther. Um, I wanted just to test it. 
and it worked. <laughs> sort of. Let me know what your thoughts are down below in the comments. And if you have any questions about, or any rather, any suggestions about what test I should be running next, let me know in the comments down below. I'm up for testing. I want to see how, what I can do with this engine. Uh, potentially how I can abuse the engine as well. And <laughs> so far, it's causing some fairly interesting results. So I hope you at least got a good laugh out of this one. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys. I shall catch you soon for more videos.